Here I want to show you a dynamic flexibility for the ankle. Now there's lots of ways to prepare the ankle. Uh, specifically when I say the ankle, I'm talking about the ankle uh, joint proper. And so the, the actual ankle joint is a hinge joint. Uh, it basically opens and closes. Okay, um, now the, the ankle can also be used to describe a series of joints uh, which allow other movements. Okay, so for example, we have range of motion here in the ankle. We have range of motion here in the ankle. Okay, so there's different joints that are involved with gliding as well as hinging. But specifically, the ankle itself is involved with plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. And so that's what I'm going to focus on in, in this lesson here. Uh, plantar flexion and dorsiflexion is your basic athletic movement. Those are going to be the prime movers or the larger movements of the lower leg. So for example, uh, jumping, okay, there's going to be plantar flexion. Landing is going to be dorsiflexing. Okay, so if you're jumping, that's going to be plantar flexion. Uh, if you're running, that's going to be a dorsiflexion. Okay, landing, that's going to be dorsiflexion. And so let's say, for example, you're going to go for a run. You want to stretch out your ankles. Uh, a lot of times people will do this type of thing against the wall. And that's really just working in one range of motion. That's going to work sort of the, uh, the calf, the gastroc, big muscle. Get into the Achilles, but it's not really addressing, say, the front side. Uh, the tibialis, it's not really getting into some of the deep muscles of the calf like the soleus. So instead of just coming against the wall here, you're going to take a lunge position and you're going to plant the toe. You're just going to do one foot at a time. Okay, so a lot of times folks might try to do a down dog, okay, and this type of thing. And again, you're getting in there to some degree, or even here, I can get deeper but it's not really working the full plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So I want to work the complete plantar flexion, which is to point my toes, okay, so plantar flexion, and then dorsiflexion, which is to pull back. So I'm taking a lunge here, and I'm doing one side at a time, the rear foot. So the rear foot, I'm going to point my toes, and then I want to lift my knee off the floor and press the top of the foot. So I'm pressing the top of the foot here. And that's going to be the front of the ankle and the shin. I'm going to feel that stretching in here. Okay. Now I'm using some strength from my upper body and pushing from that rear foot. And I'm going to drive back, driving that heel into the ground. Now if your calves are very tight, you may feel really tight here. Okay. So you have to use some strength. So I'm plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. You can use the verbiage if you're wearing, say, tennis shoes, laces down. Okay, so laces down, heel back. Laces down, heel back. Okay, so now I'm going to get a rhythm here. And I don't want to just rest my knee on the ground. I'm not getting that plantar flexion. I want to lift the knee up, point, and try to drive the top of the foot. You see, I'm driving the top of the foot down. So now I'm getting that plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. You see, I'm slamming my heel down. So it becomes very dynamic. As I said, it's a dynamic flexibility. And I want to do quite a few reps here, at least 15 to 20 reps. Laces down, heel back, laces down, heel back. You're going to have to play with the angle and the distance. Okay, it's going to depend on obviously your leg length. Okay, but you want to find that ideal position that you get a full stretch or full movement in the plantar flexion and the dorsiflexion. And then you're going to go ahead and switch and do it again on the other side. So you might need to warm up first. Uh, you can do some squat, you can do some jogging in place. Do anything you need to, to to try to basically warm up the ankle, but then once you're ready, you're going to treat it like a strength training exercise where you're going to be using force and using your strength 
to create that stretch. And that's what flexibility is about. Flex is actually a shortening. Okay, so you're basically shortening and lengthening at the same time, and that's what makes it so effective. So give that a try. Uh, if you're having trouble with pistols, it's gonna help you a lot because that ankle flexibility in that bottom position. Okay, so give that a try. Use it uh, before running, before any type of athletic movement. Also can do it again after.